it's Advent time! Advent time between the pines. It's Advent time between the pines with your host, Deborah. That's me! Welcome to Advent time between the pines! Can you believe we made it to Christmas Eve? That means we get one more sleep. One more sleep and then it's Christmas Day. I love Christmas Day. It's so fun. Not only do we get presents and we get to hang out with our families, but we get to do all that because of a very important birth. But today we are going to learn about Bethlehem, where that very important birth took place. Let's get started. Story time. Today's story comes from God With Us, a family Advent celebration by Katie Pollock. While Mary and Joseph were expecting their baby, a ruler named Caesar Augustus was conducting a census. And a census means they just count everybody to see who's there. So in order to count each person, he required everyone to go to their hometown. It took Mary and Joseph several days journey to make it to Joseph's hometown of Bethlehem. Many important things happened in this town. Um, if you remember Ruth and Boaz, they were from Bethlehem. And then Jesse, Jesse had David uh, and that's here. And they were from Bethlehem. And in fact, the prophet Micah was told by God to tell his people that the ruler of all Israel would come from Bethlehem. The journey to Bethlehem was very difficult and took them many days. But when Mary and Joseph arrived, it was time for Mary to give birth. But all the places that there were to stay were full. So eventually, Joseph found room in a place where the animals had to sleep. And that is where he and Mary had their first son, Jesus. On a winter's night, probably next to where the donkeys were sleeping. Hey, were you sleeping there? Oh, the donkeys were sleeping there. The Savior was born. God hung a bright star in the sky to tell everyone that the light of the world had come to earth. The shepherds and the wise men followed this star to find the Messiah that they had been waiting, waiting, and waiting so long for. Bible time! Today's Bible verses comes from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Cornelius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to his own town to be registered. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth into Galilee to Judah, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who is pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in the manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at, at night. The angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, 
Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Thanks for joining us today on our Jesse Tree. Today is day 24. That means it's Christmas Eve tonight. Today, it's all day. Christmas Eve is all day today. That means Christmas is all day tomorrow. Anyways, our ornament is Bethlehem, the city that Jesus was born in. It was also important because David was there, and so was Ruth and Boaz, and a lot of other people. So it was a very important city, and God chose that city to give us our Savior. We'll see you tomorrow, Christmas Day! Bye! It's Advent time between the pines. It's Advent time between the pines.